Sometimes buying the cheapest thing is not worth the money. What's up party people? I'm Wendy Valencia and today I wanted to talk to you about when it is okay to spend a little bit more money because it'll save you money in the long run. This video is totally based on my own personal experience that I just discovered. About two months ago, I decided one of the ways we were going to cut costs was to start buying generic brand contact solution and contact cleaning solution. Historically, I have always bought the OptiFree, I think it's like Pure Moist or something like that, which I always liked, but it's expensive. Even at Costco, it costs like, oh, I can't even remember, like $18 for a package of two, or, you know, it's like 10 or $11 at the CVS near my house. Super expensive, especially when, you know, you wear contacts most of the time. And I also had bought at Target, like their generic um, hydrogen peroxide cleaning solution. And like I said, this was like two months ago. So about two weeks ago, when I was sick, I started noticing that my contact would have these, it was doing two things, no, three things. It started having these like hazy things that would float in front of one of my eyes and then disappear. And I was like, ew, what's that? And then the other thing is that it wasn't sticking to my eye super well. So after a couple of days, I changed my contacts, even though they were brand new. I am super meticulous about cleaning my contacts. So I can make a pair of disposable contacts last for a while, like a while, a while. And, but I had just changed these contacts. I mean, just changed them, like maybe a week before, which for me is like yesterday. And I was like, what is going on with this? So I changed the contacts again and I started having the same problem on my other contacts like two days later. I was like, oh, okay, maybe I have some sort of eye infection or something because I noticed my eyes were watery. And so I'm like, well, maybe it has to do with the flu or maybe I'm starting to have allergies that I hadn't had before. I didn't know. So I took my contacts out of my eyes for a while and I wore my glasses. Cause I think when I realized this, I decided it was a Friday. And so I wore my glasses for the whole weekend and that didn't help. So two weeks go by, I am completely fed up. At this point I can last maybe like three or four hours before my contact. If you wear a contact, you'll understand what I mean. Like, you know that feeling when you have your contact inside out and it moves around in your eye? Well, they were doing that, but they were right side out. So there shouldn't have been an issue like that. I decided, okay, I'm gonna go to CVS. I'm gonna buy new hydrogen peroxide solution, new OptiFree, and I'm also gonna get the drops that are made for watery and gritty and gross eyes. They're not medicated drops, but they're, they're made for people who are having eye issues. And it's one of those things I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this. And if these work, then, you know, I won't have to go to the doctor, but if these don't work in a couple of days, I'm gonna have to make a doctor's appointment because I obviously have some sort of eye infection going on. Well, I put those drops in once, once. I changed my contact solution. The drops honestly did not do anything. They did nothing. My eyes, my contacts, after using the drops, my contacts would still move around in my eyes. So I used the new hydrogen peroxide, the brand name hydrogen peroxide, and the new um, saline solution. And within two days, everything was back to normal. Don't go cheap on some things. And I guess you'll learn as you go on what you can go cheap on and what you can't. Because in truth, I spent $15 on those eye drops that if I had not changed my contact solution, I wouldn't have had to spend. Now, I guess the moral of this story is sometimes spending more will save you money. At least I didn't have to go to the doctor for it.
Make sure you click on my big laughing face so you can subscribe to my channel and I'll put two videos up that you can click on. Go ahead and click on those and keep on watching. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!